Hey, uh, my name is Steven Schneider. I'm Will Bajun. And uh, this is our Raspberry Pi digital synthesizer slash theremin. As you can see, we have a camera here that can detect hand based off of skin color and contours, and it measures the area that the hand is um, and uses that to um, output frequency. Increasing area will increase the frequency. Um, as you can see uh, here, we might demonstrate it. So, yeah, so here we'll quickly just do a... with a simple sine wave controlling modify the area, the lower the area, the, the lower the frequency. And then we've got various knobs here to modify what our synthesizer is outputting. So here we have a our shape of our waveform. So this goes between a sine wave to a triangle wave to a square wave to a sawtooth wave. And for each of these waves, we have various amounts of harmonics. Uh, so starting with just like low harmonics of just a few sine waves added up to many more sine waves added up. Here we have our uh, amount of delay. So we start out with zero delay, and then we add um, buffered delays in. And this controls how fast those delays are sampling. Um, here we have uh, a backup frequency generator. So we can switch to just this to generate frequency instead of the CV algorithm. And then here we can adjust the frequency of our uh, wah-wah pedal, essentially. Um, and this is an attack to stop the, the sound if we want to try to play a sound song. And yeah, and here we have an octave control. And then if we turn on a bunch of knobs, increase the delay and stuff. And lastly, here we have, we can switch between binning into a G scale, so you can hear we're playing notes, or we can switch to continuous frequency. 